The necrophiliac develops poor self-esteem, perhaps due in part to a significant loss. They are very fearful of rejection by others, and they desire a sexual partner who is incapable of rejecting them. They are fearful of the dead and transform their fear by means of reaction, formation, into desire. Hello, and welcome back to The Mating Game. I'm your host, Charlie Bacardi. Our first contestant is Kasim Kazada Karam, 23. This happened November 11th, 2019. The British homeless man was high off Mambo, PCP, and booze when he broke into Central England Cooperative Funeral Care in Great Bar, England at 3 a.m. He removed nine lids off different coffins containing men, women, and a baby. He removed the clothes off the first two deceased corpses and would ultimately rape one of his liking. The silent burglar alarm was indicated and he was arrested shortly after on the scene. Karim went through mental evaluation and got six years prison time. He apologized to the families that suffered great mental grief from his actions. Our second contestant is Dominique Cordero Smith, 29. This happened on February 9, 2015. He would break into Hill Watson People's Funeral Services in Columbus, Georgia. The establishment was set up with security cameras. They would witness him going in and out of rooms containing dead bodies until he found a female corpse to his liking that he would engage in anal sex with. The homeless man was caught in an abandoned house with his bicycle carrying a backpack with the victim, the corpse, panties in it. What? He underwent mental evaluation and he was first given 20 years to serve, 15 and the rest probation. The judge would re-sentence him to 15 years to serve, 12 and the rest probation. And our third contestant, Karen Greenlee, 22, California. She would steal the hearse containing a male corpse. She couldn't be found for two days. The police found her in the next county with the deceased, and she was high off codeine, Tylenol. She reminisces when she worked at a funeral home. She refers to herself as a morgue rat. Why do I do it? Why, why, why? No relationship has never hurt me like this. Those were her words. She had sexual episodes with up to 40 dead men. She says it's a sexual desire. She loves the smell of death. The odor is very erotic. A freshly embalmed corpse is something else. There is an attraction to blood when you're on top of a body and it tends to purge blood out of its mouth while you're making passionate love to it. You'd have to be there, I guess. She remembers while working at a funeral home how she would drive out to the cemetery with the family and mourn with them. They were grief-stricken. She was passion-stricken. She'd lie and say, I knew him in high school. Even as a child, she'd wonder about the deceased. She'd have funerals for her pets. She had a pet cemetery. She lived near a funeral home and she would sneak and roam through it. Since she's got so much press, she says she hates reporters. She can't work in a funeral home anymore and she misses it terribly. Hearing all the gory details about people that's on their way, then you get to see them in their caskets. 
She spoke about a male mortician she worked with. He would get real upset if there wasn't any female bodies to work on. She caught him in the act, pulling up his pants. He tried to tell her he was taking a pee in the hopper. I just told him, I won't tell if you don't. She admitted she was caught as well. It was an autopsy patient. She was having a real good old time, she said. And she was caught with him right in the act. Her clothes was in disarray, various stages of off, and she had blood on her. She was able to get away before they called the police. In California, there is no crime against necrophilia. So she was charged $255 to $5 for stealing the hearse and 11 days in jail for delaying a funeral. The mother of the son she stole for two days got $117,000 after suing the funeral home. Boyfriend's been violent with her and she lost boyfriends and she lost friends and her brother doesn't look at her the same and people do treat her differently now that they know what she desires. She says she likes the young ones, the ones in their 20s. And if it wasn't for AIDS, she would have already broken to a funeral home. <laughs>